Hi, my name is Todd Schleifer, and today I'm going to work on this California juniper. This tree was designed several years ago by Ryan Neal, and so what I'm looking to do um, today is the wire has been cut off, so to bring some of these branches up, but I want to use like a minimal amount of wire. So what I'm going to try to do is run like structural wire down here and as we have branches hanging down it's like can I use one or two pieces of wire just to bring this up into place um, and two it's very overgrown it's very symmetrical and so I also want to give like some movement to this or like some direction so it's like does the apex push to the right so we have this line here or do we come and we push the apex back to the left but it's it's starting to get very symmetrical which over time like as as trees age and mature that's that's what happens so part of what we're gonna have to choose is like do we push in from this side and let this side extend or do we push in here from the left and we let the right extend okay so there's a couple decisions that have to be made when working on a piece of material like this that has grown as much as it has. We're taking what's existing and refining it. Set whatever big structural pieces we need first. Here I'm just trying to go in between the foliage And setting these. Like here, see how this is in here? It's like we'll put a piece of wire on this so we can have control of that. And then if we need a finer piece, Here, I'm just going to push the branch into the wire. And that's where I'm going to stop. So this branch here at first it's like well it's kind of long and leggy and it's kind of thin maybe this could come out but if we take if we take this branch out then you have this whole line exposed right here and we don't want to see that whole line so this line this branch right here we have to keep so we can cover some of that up Just talk a little bit in general about how you choose the, the gauge of the wire. Yeah, so this... I mean, I'm choosing this larger piece of wire because this branch here is pretty thick. So I know some people will say... Like the wire has to be like a third of the size of the branch or half the size of the branch or something. And I don't know, I also tend because of studying with Ryan, I think I tend to use, because there we use a heavier gauge when I've been studying at Mirai. And so that's what I tend to do. And as I've traveled around, people always kind of say, like I'll use 
bigger wire than some. Um, so part of it is just over time you just kind of realize what gauge works the best. Um, but yeah, I mean, if there's something that someone's trying to go back on, it's like maybe the wire should be a third of the size of the branch. So on this branch here, I'm using, it's eight gauge, but that's, this is Japanese wire. So with our wire in like the United States, this is six. So I'm just gonna run it to there and then stop and then I will switch to switch and transition to a smaller smaller gauge of, of wire. So here I took this piece of six down to here and now the branch gets smaller, right? Smaller and I wanna wire this to it so I'm gonna use this smaller gauge to do that. Yeah, so now I'm at the side of the tree. I started in the front, started working my way up. I'm going to get to the top last, but I'm just kind of strategically, like now I'm moving around here in the back and I'll be placing all these branches and pruning back what I need to. Um, so we always start from the bottom and work our way up because if we start like on the top and work our way down, as we're moving branches down, you know, let's say you want to move this down, but you haven't moved this down yet, then you're just fighting with yourself the entire time. So, so that's why on these trees, it's like always like set structure first. So when you are doing like fine wiring, let's say you fine wire a pad out, if you don't put your big wire on first, then when you're putting that on afterwards, then you're gonna crush all the nice um, fine wiring you've done. So it's like put structure on first and then start at the bottom and work your way up. As we look at the tree and we have the flow this way, I think I want to pull the apex when you're looking from the front to the left. And so that's what I'm working on right now, but I'm just going to like spread some of this out, just add a couple pieces of wire prune. And then by doing that, I'll be able to insinuate flow, um, like the direction of the apex and the how, like here, this is kind of the directional branch. So it's like we have this movement here, right? Here, 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 and then the apex will keep coming to the left. And so this is more, like this is a harmonious design, right? Because everything, it's like, all right, so if we're looking here, the trunk, I don't know. It's like, I think, like this comes to the right, but then like in this upper portion, it comes back to the left. And this, this like uh, the length here, is to the left, the apex to the left. So um, there's different, but there's like different ways too that you can treat an apex. And it's like, let's say you wanted to take the apex, insinuate it going to the right, then that gives the tree an entirely different feel. So the apex and the direction of it is really important in regards to like the design of a tree, right? Okay, so as I'm finishing the apex, I'm actually pushing the apex off center. So if we wanted this, if we have this apex right here, it would be like right in the center of the tree and to give like help give direction and the flow to the left, I'm actually taking the apex and instead of pulling it up here to where it's over center, I'm actually pushing it off center to help drive the motion here to the left. I hope you've enjoyed this segment.